Hello everyone and welcome. Today I want to talk about something that affects millions of people and their daily life. Migraine headaches. Migraines can be debilitating and affect the person's quality of life as well. I personally suffer from migraine headaches and I have first-hand experience on how much it can affect a person's life on a day-by-day -day basis. In this video, we're going to be going over 10 different causes of migraine headaches to help you better understand what causes it and how to manage your symptoms. So let's get started. Stress. Stress is one of the biggest major factors for migraine headaches. When you're under stress, your body releases chemicals that helps constrict the blood vessels in your brain that leads to the migraine headaches. To help relieve the stress and the migraine headache, try breathing techniques, meditation, or yoga. Now, stress is one of the biggest factors for my migraine headaches, especially at work. So I personally try a lot of breathing techniques and meditation, which does help my migraine headaches. Hormonal changes. Hormonal changes in women, especially around their menstrual cycle, can trigger migraines. To manage hormonal migraines, your doctor may prescribe hormonal birth control or other medications. Lack of sleep. Lack of sleep can lead to migraines as well. And that's another factor that affects my migraines personally. I am always just so busy that a lot of times sleep comes last. Sleep should always be an integral part of your life. If you're not getting enough rest, your brain will be fatigued and your body will be fatigued. So it's very important to get seven to eight hours of sleep every night. Certain foods, certain foods like egg, cheese, chocolate, alcohol, and processed meats can trigger migraines as well. If you suspect food as a cause, it's a good idea to keep a food diary to see what kind of foods trigger your migraines and avoid those foods. Dehydration. Now, dehydration can also cause migraine headaches. It's very important to drink plenty of water throughout the day and try to avoid large quantities of sugary drinks or caffeinated drinks. It's okay to have a caffeinated drink once or maybe even at the most twice a day, but anything more than that will lead to more dehydration. And if you are drinking a lot of these sugary and caffeinated drinks, it's important to stay hydrated with water along with these drinks. Sometimes at work, we get so consumed with work that we forget to drink water. It's very important to remind yourself to stay hydrated. If you guys are liking this video and want to see more videos just like this, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It helps the channel grow. Weather changes. Weather changes, especially changes in barometric pressure, can also trigger migraines. To manage these weather-related migraines, stay indoor during these extreme weather changes and take any necessary medications as prescribed by your physician. Strong smells. Strong smells like perfumes or chemicals can also trigger migraines. If you're suspecting this as one of the cause, try avoiding these strong smells. Using unscented products is the best way to go in that scenario. Bright lights. Bright lights, especially flashing lights, can also trigger migraines. If you suspect this as one of the cause, try wearing sunglasses and avoiding bright or flashing lights. Genetics. Yes, genetics can also play a big role in migraine headaches. If you have a family history of migraine headaches, you are more likely to get migraine headaches yourself as well. To manage genetic migraine headaches, work with your doctor to develop a personalized treatment plan for you. Eye strain. We live in an era of modern technology with computers and phones all around us. But staring at a screen for long periods of time can put a strain on our eyes and lead to migraine headaches as well. It's very important to take breaks from your screen time to prevent these migraine headaches from happening. So I've gone over 10 different causes of migraine headaches. Hopefully that helps you understand what some of the triggers for migraine headaches can be and avoiding those triggers can help manage your symptoms as well. Let's talk about some other things you can do to help manage your migraine headaches as well. Medications. Your doctor may also prescribe you some medications such as pain relievers or preventative medications for migraines as well. Lifestyle changes. Making lifestyle changes for yourself can help prevent a lot of these migraine headaches. I'm talking about getting enough sleep, reducing stress in your life, and trying to pinpoint the triggers that are causing your migraines and avoiding those triggers. Alternate therapies such as massage and acupuncture have also helped a lot of people with migraine headaches as well. Rest. Resting in a dark, quiet room also helps alleviate your symptoms as well. Ice or heat. Applying ice or heat to the affected area have helped a lot of people with their headache intensity as well. 
Remember, understanding what's causing your migraine headache is the number one key in trying to prevent headaches and managing your symptoms. It is very important to work with your doctor to develop a personalized treatment plan just for yourself. With proper management, you can reduce the frequency of headaches and the intensity of headaches and improve your quality of life. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy.